How's it going? My name is Clayton Bridges and today we're going to be installing some side view mirror visors on the Lexus LS400. These little side view mirror visors are just these little uh, acrylic visor pieces that stick on right above your mirror. They're mainly for style in my opinion. I don't know if they necessarily have a fantastic practical use. I actually got mine from a place called Factory Midnight. Pretty good experience from them. I don't have any complaints. I will say it did take a long time. There's two big reasons for that. Um, and first of all, I was expecting that anyway. I mean, they're a small business. You just can't expect every company to be competitive with like Amazon and ship everything in two days. But it says Goblin Science, which is a brand and I'm uh, basically developing and will soon be available for the public. I'm going to be selling a couple things. It's basically going to serve as my merch for this channel as well as like a sticker store that is car related. And we also have the purple to teal fade. Both of those things, the etching and the fade, take a little extra time. They are custom made for the make and model of my vehicle, which means they should fit pretty much perfectly. One of the first things I'm gonna suggest doing is to tilt your mirror back so you get as much of this uh, open space on the edge available. So the next step is get a solution of about 50% isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. You can find this at the grocery store and then 50% water. You can probably use all kinds of other stuff like brake clean, you could probably even just use plain water or just wipe it down. I mean anything's better than nothing, but definitely use uh, some kind of solvent that's definitely going to clean it and not leave a residue. You know, if you're going to pay uh, a good price on something like this, like you might as well make sure it has the best stick possible. My solution, I'm just going to wipe away the inside here and uh, try and apply a little bit of pressure so you actually remove some of the harder stuff to get on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna use a dry section of cloth to wipe it dry. Okay. And then I'm gonna wait probably, I don't know, up to five minutes just uh, to make sure the residue from that has evaporated. All right, so now we're ready to stick. I think it's good to start off with like a knife like this to kind of start to peel back this 3M protective tape that goes over the sticky part. It looks like mine's already up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready and stick it. You gotta keep in mind you're going at two angles with this because you're sticking to the top and the side of the mirror. So you don't really wanna press down hard and really lock it in until everything is positioned in a good spot to stick it without warping it, stretching it, and fitting nice. So be very careful about the placement. All right, so we're gonna peel that off, and in we go. All right, so there it is. So as you can see in here, it actually cracked from this. I think part of that is because I did not get it on this side quite enough. It's also possible that this bend uh, was not as straight as it should have been. <laughs> it probably has a little more to do with uh, me not quite getting it on this side enough before I stuck it. It's not really gonna matter at all. It's uh, like really solid in place where it is now. So it's like, again, it doesn't need to go all the way down, but we're gonna try it a little differently on this side. That's pretty unfortunate, but not a big deal. I actually just noticed that this little tip is actually chipped too. I don't know if that happened in shipping. I don't know if it happened while it's been in my possession because I've had these for like two weeks. I don't know. It's, uh, that again, it's not a big deal. It's like right at the edge. This shelf piece that attaches is much thinner and it's acrylic, so it's hard. It's hard plastic, hard things are more likely to shatter. So this time I'm gonna try and get this short side and this corner first and sort of roll it on.
even this edge is not quite lying down but that was a better stick I think you could say that was mainly my fault all right well they look pretty sweet installed I like them a lot so they're pretty subtle it's something you'll notice every time you get in and out of the car So this gives you kind of a general idea of like how much of it you can see in the reflection of the mirror. This is my uh, passenger side and my driver's side. So it's really not that bad. Um, it's noticeable, but they are also see-through and fashion style. Looking sick is more important. Alright, so it is raining out. We will find out if the uh, side view mirror visors actually deflect rain. Not really. A little bit. Not really enough to matter, but that's alright. Once again, they are mainly for style. 